me. Okay, okay, what is going on here? Who said you guys could have a dance party? <laughs> What's up, my dude? It's how's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're using a mod to flood the house in lava. That's right, this entire house is gonna be burned up into a crisp because, well, I guess, well, I guess lava's gonna be everywhere. So I asked my personal modder and buddy, Kokosko, if he could make a, a lava flood possible. And he was like, yeah, I could do that. And then he added in this. This right here is a magical cup of lava. That's what it is. It's a magical cup of lava. So if we walk over here and spill this mug of lava right now, it magically just fills up the entire house. Do you see his face? He's focused so intently on it. Are you okay? What's uh, what's going on there? Are you all right? Why? Is there a cup of lava on the table? What are you gonna do with it? Well, I guess let's spill it. <laughs> let's do that. And three, two, one, boom. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, well, no, this fills up fast. Hey, okay. Well, well. Jeez. Okay, I just turned it down right now. I had to see this. This looks so cool. So not, not only is there lava, but the entire house is on fire. Oh my gosh, and Moid, he's happy. Look at him, he's got a smile on his face. I mean, look at this. It just looks amazing. We got Moid here on the table. We got some lava. Let's head upstairs. Apparently, my legs are immune to lava. What happens if we drop Moid in the lava? Oh, oh, okay. Well, he just he bounces like, like it's a trampoline. I hear him laughing. He loves it. So, um, I mean, I guess Moid being an evil baby, I guess that means he loves lava. <laughs> this looks like he's dancing. Oh my gosh. What happens? Okay, if we go over here, we're gonna put him in the oven. No. Nope. Oh, I can't. I can't even set him in the oven. Hey, Moid, get down from there. Okay. Oh, man, I can't. I can't actually put him in, into the oven because uh, it just doesn't work. Maybe I could just do this and stick his leg in. The, oh, nope. He's on the ceiling. I guess he floats to the top of the lava and maybe like, you know, like in cartoons, when somebody touches something hot, they like bounce around like, ah! <laughs> That's kind of how Moid reacts. Hey, get down from the ceiling. You know you're not supposed to be up there. Come on, go into the oven. That feels like a weird sentence. Hey, get off the ceiling. Go back into the oven over there. All right, so I turned down the lava right now. He's just bouncing again. I want to see what happens if we let the lava, like, fill up just a little bit more. You could see him kind of just getting covered in lava. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, now he's bouncing. Let's close it. Okay. We are closing it, and... Okay! Oh, my gosh! He flies out like crazy! Man, this is fun. The fact that we can just throw Moid over here and just be like, whoop! Oh, man. Dude, it, the cool thing is as well is that Moid seems to love it. Look at him. Uh, it is a little weird that he's like bouncing on his head though, but he's dancing. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, we got to intensify it up. I mean, if this isn't already intense, we have modded the game to the point where the entire house is on fire, filled with lava, and now Moid is just bouncing around. Let's make some clones. So I'm going to just click the clone like a lot. Oh, gosh. You can see all of them. So technically, if I walk up to this clone, they should just fire out like crazy. So let's see. In three, two, one, boom. Oh, <laughs> they go to the surface. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is a weird sight to see. We're under the lava right now and they're like bouncing on top. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay, what is going on here? Who said you guys could have a dance party? <laughs> What if we do the sink thing now? So in the in the last like modded episode, we did flooding the house in water. What if we do that in response? Does that like clear everything out? Well, uh, let's say let's do it right now. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, all right. It, I guess it worked. And now all the <laughs> all the babies are on the floor. <laughs> okay, so I guess water now fills up. They all look so disappointed. I can't even. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna make them float here. We're gonna move them around. We still have some upset babies. We still have everybody floating around here. It looks insane. It looks like we're out of like a movie where like an explosion went off and it almost looks like we're looking at it in th like a 360 view. It looks really cool. All right, but now it's time to spill the magical mug of lava under the water in three, two, one. 
Boom! Okay, okay, so I guess it just deletes the water, and then they all just start bouncing. Oh my god! Look at this one! It looks like he's looking at us like, ow, 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 ow. Oh wow, wait, there's a couple of them that are still on the ground here. Hey, what are you doing? Get to the top! Okay, he looks like he's not listening to the others. So... Technically, what happens if we put somebody in the toilet? I don't think we can actually do it because they go to the ceiling. Maybe we can take somebody from the ceiling here and we'll try to like transform them uh, down. Let's see, can we move? Wait, wait, what's going on? Um, I don't know what I just did, but I tried to move the baby and it just moved his head. Oh my gosh. You know what he looks like? Oh, wait, he looks like Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. He's just like one, like, circle. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn on the sink and then turn off the sink. We're gonna place him in the toilet. We're gonna close the seat, and then we'll fill back everything up with lava here. So we'll see what happens when we flush the toilet. Lava. 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 Lava, lava. Man, that beatbox really hurts my throat. Uh, but it looks like it fits because it looks like he's like... <laughs> It looks like he's trying to break the toilet. But we are now under lava right now. I don't know how all of them are sitting on the floor. We got some on the ceiling. Let's see what happens when we flush the toilet in three, two, one. Boom. Okay. There he goes. And... Oh, God! It fired so fast! The Mike Wazowski baby. Are you okay? Are you okay? What's up? What's wrong? How, how are you doing? I can make the ceiling just disappear. What happens now if I like do the whole wait? Am I gonna fall through? Oh man, it kind of looks like it. Uh, all right, let's turn off all of that. We're gonna take one of the babies and I actually can't walk over there. Uh, go over there. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. What if we just do that? We're just like, okay, see you later. Uh, bye. That feels really weird because it's like, it's just like a darkness. This is how we fix the lava situation. We just turn on the water here. We're going to fill up that space and just put all the babies over there. That seems like a great spot. All right, then we'll toggle the sink and watch them all go. This, I feel like we already broke the game like crazy. I feel like I need to restart. All right, I have restarted the game. Everything is nice and fresh. You can already see that he looks scared. Okay, let's just set him down right here. Actually, can we set him in the lava? Does that work? I'm just gonna set him right there. He's in the lava. Are you taking a nice drink of that lava? No. <laughs> How's it going? How, what, does it taste good? Is it spicy? Maybe we could get something to- Oh, and you- <laughs> he, he lifted himself out of it. All right, what if we just flip this right now? It looks crazy. <laughs> I feel like the coolest part is the fact that he bounces like crazy. If you, if you like, throw him, he just bounces. Well, I guess it's going way too fast to even see. It also is weird to kind of like see how crazy that looks of the house filling up with lava. You're like, no! All right, I'm going to turn down the lava speed here. We're gonna see if we can maybe make it go down. Okay, it's going real fast. All right, let's change the size of this house again. I feel like we've done that before. Where we've kind of just like increased the size. Uh, I don't know if that'll really help, but I think it'll make it so that we can like fly around like crazy. Look, I can free this soul, Whoa. nice. So the baby's laughing, Moid is having a great time. How's it going there, buddy? He's just bouncing around like crazy. I guess there's infinite possibility of him to bounce now because the lava is gonna keep rising forever. Oh, that's cool, I can like grab his bottle out of the fridge from here. Oh wait, no, I'm stuck in the wall. <gasps> no, I'm stuck in the wall. Moin, help me out, stop having fun over there. Help me, grab me out of the lava, I'm stuck. I just realized it's weird because I changed the size of the entire room, which also means that like the beginning stairs are giant. Look at that, this whole room is so big. And here's Moid right here at the surface is just bouncing around like crazy. Can I like make him bigger? I want to see now. Let's make him five times his normal size. Is that? 
Does that work? It works, it looks like, right? Whoa, he is a giant baby. How do I make myself out of here? How do I get out? I have to like grab this rug. We're making literally like the floor is lava here. It's like I didn't even want to make that joke, but I guess I had to. So look at this. I got to walk on this new carpet. I want to see if I can grab him. He's so giant. Boom, I think I picked him up, but he's, oh. He's in the, in the wall. I can't really, I can't really pick him up. How is he doing? What is he doing here? Oh, he's looking at the camera. <laughs> oh man, he's stuck. Let's move this wall over a little bit. There you go. Let's uh, see if we can lift you out of here. All right, we're moving the square room for him so that he can uh, rise out of it. Oh, he's stuck in the square room. I just realized that's what's going on here is that he's stuck. Oh, and now I'm holding on to him, I think. I think I'm holding him. Oh gosh, this is so broken. I don't know what is going on here. Here, I gotta let him go. Okay. He is now a giant baby upside down on the roof over there. All right, so I'm gonna see if I let him go. Oh, he goes to the surface. Okay, there he is, a giant baby in the massive world of lava, and he's just bouncing around on his head. It doesn't even look like the same game anymore, but this is so cool. All right, uh, well, let's restart once more. All right, so I just reset the game, and apparently Kokosko said that if you do it enough, that uh, Moid here could become adapted to the lava. So if I spill the mug and I try to do the, oh, okay, it worked, it worked. Oh my gosh, he is lava. My buddy Moid, he is now a lava baby. This is intense. Oh, wow. So I think we're both under lava now. So I guess we're both lava adapted, but wow, that is amazing. It's like he ate the lava and became lava. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, where did he go? Okay, here he is. Here's my buddy. How's it going? Can we turn off the lava now? I want uh, I want the regular baby back here, please. What happens if I clone him? Does it, oh, the clone. So the real one is the only one that's like adapted to lava. Oh, they, they like both became adapted. Oh my gosh. It's like, I can't even affect them now. They're like, you think you can stop me with lava? Yeah, think again. Wait a minute. I just realized in the background they're both bouncing on the lava. How does this even work? What? Oh, wait. Now they both kind of adapted again. Wow. It really does feel like this game has like a mind of its own now. Like these babies are adapting. It's like DLC for this game. The new lava update. I got to turn on the water. Does the water affect them differently now? Because now they're lava babies in water. Okay, they just sat up. They look upset. All right, how's it going there? Oh, they both do not like this okay i'm sorry this is just how it's gotta be you you're lava babies now no don't like it stop you're not supposed to like the water well um the entire house is full of water it has been full of lava and these babies are unaffected you could literally just throw them around that is that is intense now it's time to test the strength of this like here oven let's see what happens now Boom! Okay, he gets launched, but he's still getting launched in there. All right, we're gonna set both of the babies in there. Let's see, there you go. And what happens when both of them go in? And whoa, it's so majestic. I mean, look at how they fly around. It is crazy, man. It's amazing to see the progress that like games go through. I feel like when we first start a game, we play it like a little bit normally. We try to glitch it out. And then as we mod it, it gets more and more obscure to the point where like, did you ever think that Moid would be staring at a cup of lava scared of, of us? Cause normally we're supposed to be scared of him. He's literally looking at it like, uh, truce, we're not gonna battle. You win, I will be a good kid. I feel like what's cool is that even with mods, we can just do simple things like, hey, Moid. Yeah, sorry, I'm not babysitting you anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what if we jump out too? Oh, I can't. Oh, he's over there. He's at the bottom of the elevator. Hey, I'll come back for you later, okay? All right, I'm gonna watch some TV. I, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here. We did a lot of crazy stuff. Filling the house with lava has been 
Amazing. I I, did, I was never expecting that everything was going to be on fire and that he would bounce around like crazy. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you made you smile. That's all I want to do every single day. You know, if you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. We can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. So uh, yeah, thank you for subscribing. It's been going to 2 million. As I always say, I thank God every day that I'm able to do this. It's such a blessing. Be able to play games differently, doing things your own way, and uh, just having fun. So nevertheless, I'll see you in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, peace out, my dudes.